as per your syllabus you have only computation of business income income from house property as per the question rent from house property any dividend received from indian company we call it as exempted hello everyone this is your adarsh sir here lecture in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence and we are in the session 13 of your topic called tax management under tax management in the fifth sem we are studying profit and gain of business and profession now almost we are in the end of this topic your business or profession simply i am doing more number of problems so that you will understand better you should have knowledge of this one all kinds of adjustment you are supposed to work out now in this today's session will do one problem along with concept now so these are the information are available for this you are supposed to do problem now shri ganesh has prepared the following pnl for the year ended 31st march 2020 compute income from business for the assessment year 2020 and 21 in this we have particular amount and particular amount in this we have salary rent loss by theft discount donation income tax gift lic premium interest on loan interest on capital repays and net profit carry down these are the information under your credit side gross profit rent dividend interest on fd these are the informations we have we have to see which are related to business and which are not related to business before that we go to adjustment now additional information actual bad debts during the year 500 you are supposed to minus as allowed item depreciation allowable as per it we have to minus donation is made to ndf if there is any donation in the question donation is not part of your business now salary part of your business we will not touch rent part of your business loss by theft it is also your part of your business theft it is common actually so part of your business discount part of your business and donation yes because it is paid for what reason it is paid for your ndf national defense fund there is nothing to go with your business that's why ndf we call it as other than business item now income tax yes gift yes lic premium s yes. interest on loan we assume as it is a it is taken for business purpose unless and until they mention that loan is taken for other than business we are supposed to consider interest on loan is your business expenditure we will not touch interest on loan interest on capital s yes. repair is made for what house property we are supposed to take similarly will come for your expense income gross profit we will not touch only then rent from house property yes dividend yes interest on fd also yes these are the things comes under your taxable like other head income now so these are the informations we have not only business income will do will do total income also remember in your examination they will not ask you total income they will not ask you tax liability why because as per your syllabus you have only computation of business income now these are the additional information i'll go to answer directly now the heading must be like computation of business income for the assessment year 2020 and 2021 in this we'll go one by one first one first one you have donation of 500 income tax 3000 donation donation 500 income tax income tax it is 3000 gift it is 
income tax it is 3000 and gift 500 next LIC premium it is 1000 interest on loan we will not take LIC premium 1000 LIC premium 1000 next after that interest on loan will not take interest on capital 3000 interest on capital 3000 interest on capital it is 3 thousand then after this we have repairs it is for what purpose house purpose it must be five thousand five hundred repairs house property it is five thousand five hundred now is there anything else no nothing now we will add this what is your total your total is I'll add everything. Now, your total is 500 plus 3000 plus 500 plus 1000 plus 3000 plus 5500. I got 13,500. How much I got? 13,500. Hope you are clear. Yes, 13,500 is your income. Now, 13,500 minus your all allowable expenses and other head income. All allowable expenses and other head income will check it once. I'll go back to question. We'll check what are the allowable expenses we have like we have rent from house property dividend and interest on fd now rent from house property rent from house property then next it will be dividend and interest on fd dividend interest on fd so we will write all three 6,000, 1,200, 800 6,000, 1,200 and 800 Now we will go for adjustment also Now as per the adjustment we have bad debts 500 and depreciation 2,000 Bad debts 500 and depreciation 2000 now we'll add everything now it will be how much 6000 plus 1200 plus 800 plus 500 plus 2000 i got 9007 i'll check once again so it is 6000 plus 1200 plus 800 plus 500 plus 2000 I got 10,500 10,500 hope you are clear yes 10,500 is our answer I'll check once again 13,500 and before that what we should do we have to write net profit what is your net profit your net profit is 1,46,100. Now, 1,46,100. 1,46,100. Add this and minus this. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, if you add now, it will be 1,46,100 plus 13,500 plus minus 10,500 I got 1,49,100 1,49,100 So this is what your business income Hope you are clear What is your business income? You have to add all the expenses and you have to minus all the incomes nothing but 
allowed items and other head incomes. Now, rent from house property, 6,000, 1,200 and 800, 6, 7,000, 8,000 plus your donation to 10,500. Then your income, your allowed expenses are more actually. So these are the allowed expenses. In this, which are not related to business, we have taken. Now, we done with everything. We got business income also, 1,49,100. What is next? Remember, in your examination, you will get up to this. In further, you need not to supposed to do. For your BCom examination or BBA examination, up to this you are supposed to do. Further, it is not required, but for the safer side or if you want to know how to do, I'll do that. Now, total income, computation of total income computation of total income now so under computation of total income how do we go for this i'll tell you your total income is very simple first income from salary second one income from house property Third one, income from business or profession. Fourth one, income from salary, house property, business or profession, capital gain. Fifth one, income from other sources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, in this, income from salary, you are doing business, your income from salary always blank. Income from house property, it is given actually now. Income from house property as per the question, rent from house property, 6,000 now. We don't take 6,000 directly. In this, 6,000 minus 30% standard deduction, 1,800, it will be 4,200. Income from house property, 4 to double zero. Hope you are clear. There is no loan on your house property. There is no any other related house property expenses. Now, this is done. Income from house property. Ma'am, then, Income from business or profession, just now we got how much is your final answer? 1,49,100. 1,49,100. Now, hope you are clear. Yes. Income from capital gain, is there? We'll check. Capital gain, no. House property is over. Dividend and interest on FD both comes under your business or profession. Your other head income. These two comes under other head. Business or profession we have written. Dividend and this. Total it is how much? 2000. Now capital gain is nil. It is 2000. Remember in this dividend is exempted. In this dividend are exempted. Any dividend received from Indian company we call it as exempted. Any doubt? No. Any dividend received from Indian company? Exempted. Now, add everything. 1,49,000 plus 1,53. 1, 1,54,300. 1,4200 plus 149,100 plus 2,000. Total income 1,55,300. 1,55,300. Your dividend, how much it is? I'll check once. Your dividend amount 1200, remember it is exempted. So we will not calculate tax on that. So it is only total income, it is not taxable income. Remember, it is only total income. Total income. While calculating taxable income, 
the dividend portion we have to reduce. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this is called your total income. They will not ask you in the examination, but also if you want to know, write all the five heads, all the related one we have to copy and paste. This is all about your today's session. I'll go back to all the slides. You can take screenshot. Your concept with problem. So p and l appropriation account, p and l account, your adjustments. These are your answer part one, your answer part two, your final answer, final answer in the sense extension of your answer. This is not required just for one problem we have done. So this is all about your today's session. Please work out at home. Thank you.